overnight, a lot of excitement over the first American moon landing in half a century. Who else but our transportation correspondent, Joe Benitez, would be here to break down a historic return to the moon and the future of the space race. And Gio, there's no one who knows more about air travel, <laughs> space travel than you. Take it away. Oh, thank you, my friend. This is a major milestone for space exploration because this little spacecraft has landed in an unexplored area of the moon, the South Pole. And if there's truly water there, as we think there is, well, this could set the stage for humanity to get to Mars and beyond. Prepare for landing. This morning, the U.S. celebrating that historic landing where no human has been before, the South Pole of the moon. We can confirm, without a doubt, as our equipment is on the surface of the moon. Odysseus, nicknamed Odie, a lunar lander built by Houston-based Intuitive Machines. Congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. Applause and mission control as Odie landed successfully on the moon last night. Houston. Odysseus has found his new home. But roughly an hour before landing, the team scrambling to fix a navigation sensor crucial for that touchdown, creating new software right here on Earth in those final moments and sending it to Odie. We're also not dead yet. Odie has made history, becoming the first private spacecraft to land on the moon and the first American spacecraft to do so in more than 50 years. More than standing effort. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, on the surface. The implications enormous. Odie will study the South Pole of the moon, which has water and ice, both critical if you're using the moon as a launching pad to the rest of the universe. The moon has one sixth the gravity of Earth and no atmosphere. So it's a much easier place to launch deeper into the solar system. It really is the launching pad into human exploration out into deep space. And we are expecting images to come in. Now this landing, it was a real nail biter because it turns out that Odysseus lost its main navigation system right before landing. And in that 11th hour here on Earth, scientists created a whole new software telling Odie to use a system on board that had never been fully tested before. It worked and Odie is right there on the moon upright. So they just wrote a program right when they needed it. In two hours, right away, and they sent it to space. And it's just incredible that it actually worked. Wow. Yeah. Geo wow. and Odie, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.